this. Okay, I'm just going to really quickly walk you guys through the sim that I use. I use Hot Props. Um, it, it, the sim feels 95% uh, real to me. I can learn a trick in the sim and go right out and, and land uh, whatever trick I've just learned first try. So it feels very real. Only bad thing is this sim is it you need a pretty good computer to run it. I went out and bought um, one of the best MacBooks you can get uh, just to play it smoothly. So if you don't have a good computer, I know there's other sims out there. The only thing is hot props the way that I've like it took me like a month to tune this make it feel like um, you know real world. Um, I'm going to share my game settings and the physics with you really quickly and then um, if your computer doesn't run it or just it just can't handle it, I know there's other sims out there where if you lower the graphics all the way down, um, you can get away with it. But then I don't know exactly um, how to tune the other ones because I only play this one and I don't know how real they're going to feel. Like I said, this one I play is 95% real. I can, you know, if I have a busy day, a busy week at work, I can come home, play this sim and it is pretty much exactly like if I was out flying and um, and to be completely honest I didn't play the sim for the longest time and was just flying because it was really nice weather out and then I kind of hit a wall and I came back into the sim and learned a bunch of different things just because you can obviously just be way more reckless and um, and it really did help me get past that little hump that I was having so I highly recommend getting into this sim now let me go into the game settings uh, set up these are my rate setups okay I'm not gonna really go through all the numbers you can see them obviously on the screen so then I have my expo rate uh, expo set up here my PID setup this is not if you use these PID setups in real life obviously they're not gonna be the real thing this is just to get the the game working same with this um, Obviously, four cell by blade. I use tri blades in real world, but this is just the way it felt better in the sim. So my motor KV is at the highest. My quads weight is at 505, and my camera angle is at 60, and my field of view is at uh, 73. This is what I feel is most real um, to my setup that I have. So I'm running 60 to 65. It depends what motors I'm using. Um, if I'm using the new Rebels, I'm, I'm running 65. If I'm using the old Rotor Geeks on 4S, I'm running 60. My field of view for the 73 feels the most like a 120 degree camera that, uh, you know, you can, uh, I know a lot of people use. So that's my setup. Now I got to go into the tracks to show you the rest of the quad setup. Okay, so let's see here. We have to go into physics now. Um, I run it uh, 185, uh, 45 degrees uh, with the front arm angle. Okay, rear rear arm length, rear, rear arm angle, and then the body length, body width. Um, the gravity is at this number. Drags at this number. Now the next important tip is um, for your controller, you have to bump up your your trim on your throttle to about 75%. What it does is it, it doesn't kill your PID control when you come right off the throttle. And also, um, it doesn't, uh, it when you flip inverted, it kind of gives you a little bit less time. So it, it, the game, will feel a little bit too floaty if you don't have your trim set all the way up. Um, that's just what I found. Obviously, you guys can go in and, and try to tune it as uh, however you think it should feel and play around with it. Um, but this is just the way that I play it.